who are curled up in front of the telly watching the Sunday night movie when your boyfriend comes up with a commercial featuring him proposing to you. Look. Hi, I'm Gary from Wedtel. I'm not going to offer you 50% off or two for the price of one. I'm not even going to offer you a free set of steak knives. We're not having a clearance sale and I won't even bill you. All you have to do is say yes. Trudy, will you marry me? Positively, please welcome Gary Hurd and uh, recently acquired fiance Trudy Blakely. Welcome, them, Gary. <laughs> well, I've got to say that's the wildest thing I ever, I ever saw. Trudy, you were sitting at home. Uh, it was Easter Sunday, uh, not at home, but you were sitting watching the telly Easter Sunday night. That's right. Yes, sort of racing home, but um, I'm sure we'll go into that. But. Yes, plonked down in front of the TV, having a cup of coffee, and next minute, off comes this ad. When you first saw your boyfriend on the telly, what, what was your immediate reaction? Oh, just quickly, you know, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's just sitting there, be quiet, be quiet, listen, you'll soon see, just keep calm. Shock. Yes, and it was shock. Yes, it was shock. Yes. Shock. <laughs> so, it just, I've got to know, did you say yes? I did. How could I refuse that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gary, why a marriage proposal in the middle of the Sunday night movie? Well, the thing is, um, we've been going out for, together for quite some time. We've been going out for, what, seven or eight years. So, uh, so I had to come out with something special, something off the cuff. So, uh, so when did you decide to do this? Well, I'd actually made the ad in, in May 95. And, uh, yeah. I've had it up the sleeve for a while. And, um, like, and this I... is not a man who's not sure. <laughs> you can't rush into it. So, and uh, I actually got the ring in June last year as well. So I made the ad in May. 95 and got the ring in June. So, uh, so what took you so long? Well, we actually had a few factors. We had another couple that actually got engaged around the time I was mm -hmm. thinking about asking. So we thought, well, okay, we can't encroach on them. And uh, then Trudy started a new job. And, uh, you know, she was very busy doing that, getting organised with all that side. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, just going, oh yeah, right, right. So I was just biding time to, to everything settle down and um, I figured Easter was a great time to do it on Easter Sunday. Okay, so what happened so, Easter Sunday? Where are you? What are you doing? We had a, we had a fantastic holiday. We went down to, um, we had six days off each and uh, we went down to Sanctuary Cove and, and spent the six days. We stayed with some friends down there mm -hmm. and uh, we went out to the markets of Broad Beach and shopped around and we got home, had a few drinks and then I said, how about we go out for dinner? So um, we picked a restaurant. We got changed, went out for dinner, had a couple of bottles of wine, and um, and then I raced her home just in time to get to uh, to the commercial. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I mean, from from what I understand, Trudy, you weren't racing home so quickly. Yes, yes, that's right. Oh, that's so, right. What what happened? You, you're sitting there going, yeah, we're having a lovely time. Enjoying. It's Sunday night. I want to have another cup of coffee. That's right, exactly. And he sort of you know, feigned an illness so we could get home in time. I didn't realise, but he was panicking, looking at the watch, thinking, oh, we've got to get home, got to get back there. So he's like, so, oh no, he's all of a sudden felt ill, so he had to get home. So, all right, off we go. Well, I knew the ad was going on at <laughs> 10 o'clock that night, and it was, I looked at my clock and it was quarter to 10. I'm thinking, oh, we've got to do something. So, um, and Trudy's looking at the coffee menu going, I, I want a coffee. Mm -hmm. I said, uh, Trudy, I really feel sick. Can we go home? I'll make a coffee at home. So I got her home like about 5 to 10, we changed. Uh, I made a coffee and had her sitting down and gave her a couple of chocolate Easter eggs <laughs> so she wouldn't move out of the front of the TV so she'd stay there. And uh, boom, the ad came up and uh, she was like, what are you doing on TV? What are you doing? And she was like really shocked and um, it took her about 20 minutes to give me an answer between laughing, crying, thinking I was joking and uh, I was starting to get a little bit worried. You know, How much money did answer. you spend? Um, I'd rather not say. <laughs> Discounted rate. Okay. Discounted rate. So you did say yes. What, what about the family? What sort of family reaction did you get, Trudy? Oh, they're wrapped. Absolutely wrapped. Did so anybody else see it? They did. They were. They were, knew it was coming up, so they were all watching it and it spread the word around. So yes, everyone was watching it. Well, I, I mean, seeing this proposal was so successful, what about any other offers from Demtel? <laughs> I haven't had any yet. I'm, I'm, I am actually waiting for some, but uh, I haven't actually had any yet, no. Well, I just think it's, it's a proposal, obviously, you're never going to forget, to Trudy. When will you get married? Well, at this stage, it looks like it'll be early next year sometime, probably around March next year. So, Got any other fun little um, bits organised, Gary? No, I think that'll do me for quite some time now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Take it easy. But listen, wasn't that a lovely story, yeah. folks? Yeah. I love dramatic stories.
Well, we've already, we've in fact, you have been gazumped because we had the Valentine's midday proposal and we had the midday wedding. So, uh, you know, I'm just racking my brain, should we do another midday wedding? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, Queenslanders, it's great to see Queenslanders with uh, a sense of humour and a sense of commitment. Uh, Gary. <laughs> Sorry, I, Jeff. I, I, it made me laugh that he had two bottles of wine, right, and then some Easter eggs. What kind of state would the poor girl be in? <laughs> Hyped and hosey. Okay, Gary Hurd and Trudy Blakely. Thank you very much. Are you getting married soon? How would you like to win a honeymoon on Hamilton Island?